Look how giant the penguin is. He's so fat. Look how big he is. Oh my god. Why is he so fat? So, when you have 120 stars, for some reason the penguin is like twice the size. I think they did it on purpose, but I don't know why. I'll show you. So, this is the right up. This is how he's supposed to be. Look how tiny he is! It's a huge difference. Look how tiny he is, right? He's tiny. Now, if you do the star with 120 stars, look at that. Dude, he's almost three times the size. It's giant. That's a thick penguin. Oh my god. He's so cute. Aww. It's like the cutest thing ever. It's kind of crazy how, like, I can do this slide while doing, like, sideways cameras. And, like, when I look at new players just trying to do the slide without falling off, they just can't do it. They're just like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah! Like, the difference between being good at this game and, like, not really knowing what you're doing, it's crazy. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Like, you're supposed to be bad when you just start playing. But you know what I mean. It is hard. It is. It really is fucking hard. Like, when you're trying to do it and you haven't played the game before, it's impossible. I understand. Trust me, I know. I was there seven years ago. I can't believe that was seven years ago. Oh, my God. The controls of this game really is. They're really hard. They really are. Whoa, what? 703 JRB? Is this for real? What? Oh, my God. Dude, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely pissed off about this. How can you get a 703 JRB, dude? What the fuck is up with this guy, dude? Does he still just play Mario all day, every day? I don't know. All right, whatever. Let's just watch it. Fucking. Oh, okay. Oh, he's pro okay. He's doing like a really fast frame walk. That's it's why. Really weird. I didn't think that was gonna work at all. We would be friends. Oh my god. The same school. He's Definitely. doing like an extra fast um frame walk. It's like a really fast one. This is saving a lot of time. I might have to learn this just because of how much time this is saving. Dude. Oh, Dude. <laughs> Crazy. All right. He like swims down to, to initiate the, the boost. So how many does he actually do? That was really weird. That was really weird. Wait, he actually does... He does frame walk by holding upright. He's holding upright, isn't he? Or is he just doing up? If it's upright, it would actually be a bit easier. I think. He doesn't have to move the camera, so this would, uh, this means I don't have to do a claw thing. I wish I could see his hands. That was really weird. I'm not I sure. I, I need like an input display. I need an input display really, really bad. Weird. That was really weird. That was really weird. I didn't think that was- Hmm. This is interesting, dude. <laughs> but does he hold up right? He has to. No idea. Um. Are there any guide videos? Oof. The trick like this new, I highly doubt it. The thing is that I don't even know if I'm tapping upright when I'm tapping. And I don't know how he initiates the speed there. That's, this is awkward as fuck. I really don't like it. Like, I just don't like frame walk at all in general. To me, this is just like a... It's just a shit trick. It makes no sense to me. Oh my god, of course. Another tutorial with no mic. I hate, 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 hate tutorial videos that don't have any audio. Oh my god, I hate them, but whatever. At least they're making them, so thanks for that. Why don't people use mic? I don't get... Anyway, whatever, yes?
Things to note, launch up the pillar. Swim down by holding up. Yeah, just shoot up the water, the pillar while underwater. But I don't think it's as easy as just holding down because you, when do you have to hold down? I could hold down early as fuck and this makes no sense. Like, I'm sure if you go too low down, it's... But do you let go of up? Or do you just... It seems as though you have to let go of up. Okay. Yeah, when I let go, it seems to work. Okay. When above the water, hold the direction of the pillar in relation to the camera. So in this case, upright, right? Now let's just watch it. What? If you don't hold the direction of the pillow while underwater, you run in place like this. Sometimes while holding up right here, you won't shoot up for a while. To fix this, switch to up after two swims. Make sure to switch back to upright after you exit the water. So you just have to hold upright. Um, Alright, now it's the part that actually matters, which is the tapping part. When learning, I strongly suggest pausing as soon as you launch to create a safe state. It makes the rest much easier to practice and gets you in the habit of holding blah blah blah. Okay. So in this case, it's basically upright. That was a huge slide. Crazy that that works. Wow. What the? Huh? I have to, uh, dude, all the text reading, I can't, okay, whatever. Get the wall kick. The more you slide, the more likely you get a wall kick. Well, yeah, that makes sense. If you use Usamune within HUD, turn on memory, set it to U16 and the following address. No, thank you. An angle roughly greater than t will give you a wall kick. You usually need to almost touch the water before jumping to get the wall kick. However, it depends on how much height you get on launch. Keep in mind that you don't need to move the stick fast for this. Really? I can't believe that. Look how slow he's doing it. And he's still doing it. No way. That's crazy. Just tap upright and go back to neutral three to five times. That's plenty to make the rest of the star easier. This clip just illustrates how slowly you can move the stick and still not fall. I can't believe that. Start below the surface. What does that mean? All right. Since you're swimming in the in place of the pillar, you need to be able to react to the launch and not keep pressing A. Starting a bit below the surface won't impact how high you get launched. Oh. Example run. Swim into the right face of the pillar, holding upright. Switch to up after two swims. Pause once you launch and switch to upright. Or him walk a bit. Slide down in the down left notch. Jump and switch. Okay.
Wait, so do you have to hold do you have to hold up? Is that necessary? Yo, sticks, thanks for the five billion so oh my god. Thanks for the bits, babe. Thanks for the fifteen hundred tits. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. <coughs> Sax Dell. Hello, Sax. So now you just launch a mini. This is unnecessary. Okay, so sometimes you have to hold up a bit there. A bit, that would kind of suck. Well, I feel like, well, that's like the thing that would make it a little bit inconsistent. Yeah, that scares me. So if it happens like that, then you're kind of fucked. Well, unless you... Yeah, because I'm not getting the thing. I usually always just fall down after a bit. You kind of want to have to wait before you do the frame walk, right? You want to let your momentum carry you up before... Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, so this kind of um, makes it really confusing for me. If I don't like clip up right away, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing when that happens. Um, I said, now how do you actually get the wall kick? You can even skip the framework completely if you get a good launch. Yeah, I kind of noticed that actually. I was going to ask that. So if this happens, I really don't know what to do. That's just so weird. I need to look at my controller when I'm doing this trick. Also, I don't really know where the fuck I'm frame walking. <laughs> this is so awkward. I also have like, because my hands are like very twitchy, so I don't have like. It's kind of like the same when I'm mashing for like a BLJ. I have really bad consistency with like movement in my hands. I don't know how to describe it. I got a firsty. Of course I got a firsty. That was gonna work. I swear to God. First frame fucking wall kicks. Ruin this fucking speed game, man. It's it's so sad. It's such a sad thing, first frame wall kicks. Yes. Fuck you. How did that not work? That's bullshit. I don't have enough time, like, I don't even have close to enough time to switch from my right, right hand to my left hand to hold the joystick, to then hold the right angle, to then press C right, and then C down, and then do all of that, and then press A and then wall kick in the time that Mario has to slide down from the thing, which is like 0.5 of a second. It's too much inputs. That This is the main problem I'm doing that I have right now. It's way too much inputs. How do you not switch hands? That's crazy to me. I can't use my left hand. This is just way too awkward. With my left hand. The actual framework is a scam, dude. Shit is crazy.
That's it. Can't do it. It's not possible. It's just not possible. I can't do it. Doesn't make any sense. I can't grab the ledge, no matter what I try, and it's stupid. Look at how Liam did this. He didn't even hold A all the way on the slide down. Makes no sense. So how... Uh, what? And he didn't even slide down that much. That, that makes no sense whatsoever. It doesn't even make an ounce of sense, man. But what does C down have to do with anything? That was... What the fuck does C down have to do with anything? And I'm holding and I'm holding A all the way too and it's crazy. It's just crazy. When does he go C down? He goes C down at the same time he presses A. How is that even possible? That's not even physically possible on a human body. How do you press C down? What? Are you you're telling me he pressed C down with his left hand? There's no fucking way he's doing that. He's doing it at the same time. Wow. I can't believe he does that. That's crazy. That is like 10,000 IQ. You just press C down and A at the same time. With the same finger. I would have never... Because I've never done that before, I think it's like weird. But it is possible. Of course it doesn't grab. What I don't understand is that I have no height. But he has a shit ton of height. How? Especially for the fact that he doesn't even hold A on the on the jump. That makes no sense. Alright, and that's the last time you'd ever see me do it, ever. Never again. Worst strat in the history of Mario.